Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about Cellini. Cellini. Alexander Penedo. Penedo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, please correct me. Alexander asked me to do this. I was thrilled to be able to do this. I think busking is the heart and soul of performance art. I really do. If you look back not too far in history, the only opportunity performance artists had was to go out and busk. That was the way it was done before the modern era. Just before the modern era. You go back to, to just around the turn of the last century, the 1800s, in that period, that's how it was done. Back in the medieval period, all buskers, all right? So this is, this is at the heart and soul of our art. So I was thrilled to get the opportunity to talk about him. Jim, Jim Cellini, Jim Cellini, born 1940, passed away 2009. He is considered to be the definitive street performer. And by the way, there, there are some, there's some distinction between street magic and busking. Street magic is associated with David Blaine and, and that sort of attitude. Whereas busking, think more, think more Jim Jim Cellini and and uh, Gazzo and uh, and Jeff Sheridan and, and that group of people. So he was a good friend of Jay Marshall who owned uh, Magic Inc. He was taught by Slidini. And uh, interesting story. The, the, now, the story is in this book. By the way, I highly recommend this book. This is not a complete biography, but it's as close as you're going to get. It's called No Ordinary Magic, Unexpected Travels with the Great Cellini, a memoir written by Eileen McFalls. Now, Eileen was a companion to, to Jim she was in love with him, he was in love with her, and this is as much a love story as anything. But it is wonderful to read the story of a busker, a world-traveling busker, as told through the eyes of someone who loves and adores the man. So this, this is a wonderful read. I, I highly recommend that you pick it up. Do that, take a look at it. So in this book, there's the story that's told uh, that Jim was a dealer demonstrator and, uh, and he began to take lessons with Slidini, and he decided that he wanted to live up to Slidini's standard. And he decided that the best way to perfect his art was to busk. And the reason he did this was because he, he knew that he could perform eight or nine shows a day, every day, as a busker. Whereas if he chose any other venue, he would never perform to that extent. He would never have the opportunity to perfect his craft to that extent. Now remember, he's doing mostly the cups and balls, uh, maybe some rope work, things of this nature. He's doing it over and over and over again, looking to perfect what he's doing. I think that is so significant. To make what you're doing as good as you can possibly make it, he chose to be a busker for that reason. Cellini died in, in Baden, Switzerland after suffering a stroke earlier that year. Again, uh, pick, pick this book up. It is fantastic. There's another biography written, Cellini, The Royal Touch by E.M. McFalls. Uh, you can pick that up as well. Uh, you can also get these DVDs known as The Art of Street Performing, Volume 1, 2, and 3. Just absolutely fantastic. If you've never had an introduction to busking, this is a great way to get it. I, I highly recommend these to you. Uh, let, me, let me give you some, some interesting names here. These are people who started their career as street performers or buskers. Harry Anderson. Harry Anderson was a busker long before he was an actor, long before he did Night Court. Uh, Penn and Teller started as buskers. Pop Hayden started as a busker. Hannibal started as a busker and Daryl started as a busker. Uh, by the way, this book right here, Stories of a Street Performer by Whit Pop Hayden, tells the story of his street performing days, his busking days, absolutely wonderful. 
Across the Table by Christopher Hannibal tells the story of his start. Let me tell you the story real quickly. Uh, Hannibal was an actor. Uh, he had a job in a theater. And uh, one day he went, he went to work and the theater was locked, closed. He couldn't get in. It was out of business. He didn't have any money. He didn't have enough money for food that day. He decided in that moment that he went out, he was going to go out and busk for his, his food money. He went out and started performing on the street. The rest is history. Now he's a regular at the Magic Castle. Uh, so, so that's the story of, of Hannibal. Now, in addition, th this is a video by, by Eddie Tullock. Eddie Tullock is considered one of the best trade show performers. And he makes the point, I'm not sure if he makes the point in this DVD or elsewhere, but he makes the point that one of the best training grounds for trade show performers is the street. It's busking. Because what, what are you doing at a trade show, right? You're trying to pull people over to your table, to your, your vendor display, and keep their attention long enough to make a pitch for the vendor's product. That's what you're trying to do. Is there any better way to learn how to do that than on the street, trying to attract a crowd, trying to hold a crowd long enough to give you a tip so you can survive? So uh, if you want to be a trade show performer, and listen, a lot of magicians do, one of the best ways you can learn how to do that is by busking. Now, let me give you a few names of famous buskers, aside from Jim Cellini. Gazzo. Gazzo. Uh, Jeff Sheridan. And one that, that I particularly admire, his name is Mario Morris. Now, if, if you're interested in busking, uh, first of all, I recommend that you pick up Cellini's uh, DVD series. But if you're interested in busking, uh, go online and, 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 and Google in The School of Busking uh, by Mario Morris. Uh, he offers A School of Busking online. Uh, you pay a fee. You watch a series of, DVD, uh, of videos. It is absolutely excellent. At some point during, during The School of Busking, during the presentation, a student asked him, how far can you go as a busker? His answer was, your only limitation is fear. Oh, I thought that was, isn't that the truth, folks? If you're wondering today, how far can I go as a magician? I would say the same thing. Your only limitation is fear. Hey, folks, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe down below if you've not done so already. Please comment. I love your comments. Have a great day.